get ready with me video today for you guys I am about to get ready to head out I'm currently in LA uh, I just got here today and so I'm here for the weekend I've got some uh, business stuff to do but also some fun things that I'm gonna do uh, so right now I actually have a meeting um, that I'm going to after this uh, well a meeting and then a dinner and then um, out out so I'm gonna do like just like a really nice flawless foundation routine and um, this is basically what I do every time I'm like doing my makeup like for real for real um, so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and then I'll talk to you guys about like what I'm doing today so I'm gonna be using Becca's luminous foundation I love this stuff I obviously am very tan as you guys can see if you guys follow me on like Instagram and snapchat and stuff I've been talking about that a lot how like dark I'm getting um, this summer already which it's kind of crazy because it's really hot here in LA too but it's also like super hot in Texas and it's only June so I can't even imagine how hot it's gonna be in Dallas like in August because that's usually our hottest month is like August early August late July it gets like excruciating um so yeah that'll be that'll be interesting uh, but yeah so I'm starting off with this uh, foundation first I'm using what color is this now that I'm using this is warm honey um, that I'm using to start my face off now it's a little dark as you can see it's a little dark but um, it's better this dark and I can like brighten it up as I go than it being like uber uber dark why does it look super super dark on camera right now but yeah so like my forehead is really dark so it like matches my forehead like perfectly but like this part of my face is not as and then my chest is still I don't know it's like really weird but yeah um, I'm trying to just work with my foundation and everything right now because it's like uneven but yeah um, or my skin on my face is uneven but yeah so I'm going yeah it's a little warm but that's okay I can I'm gonna blend it out in a little bit um, once I get it all on here first I'll add um, some lighter some lightness um, yeah because it like matches my forehead perfectly but the rest of my face is lighter but my forehead always is darker than the rest of my face that's how most people are but um, but yeah anyway so yeah I'm going to a meeting today um, with an agency that does a lot of commercial work so you guys know um, currently I have my commercial with Colgate that's airing um, in America and um, in Australia and New Zealand and I think somebody said that they saw it in Canada but I was like uh, they didn't tell me it was airing in Canada because they tell me you know where it's airing because I get paid every time it airs which is also a huge blessing because um, I was not expecting that when I first signed on for the project I thought it was just you know they paid me my fee or whatever and, and that was it um, but yeah so um, oh this is like really warm Ooh, we're gonna see if this works or not because I've used this before and today it looks a lot warmer than it did the last time I used this. But maybe I mixed it last time. Did I mix it last time? I might have. Oh well. All I know is, is that my other foundation that I usually wear, which I did not bring it. So I'm going to have to like makeshift because I didn't bring everything in my makeup kit. Um, and I've got one color that's way too light. This is like a highlight. And then I've got one that's too dark because this is my bronzer. So I don't know. I'm kind of stuck in the middle. I've got this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation that I'm going to try to like mix in there um, on my face. We'll see because this is too light too. Um, <laughs> so we're just going to make it happen today, y'all. I'm spraying my uh, Beauty Blender with this Avion Facial Spray. This is what I keep in my kit. Um, I haven't tried the Smashbox. Um, the Smashbox, what's it called? that their priming water or whatever that everybody seems to love I just haven't because I don't know like I like this water 
stuff. Okay, there we go. It's lightening up now. There we go. Um, I like this water stuff. It's cool. It does the job. I never really got into like setting sprays and stuff like that. I used to use Fix Plus a lot back in the day when I first started like doing my makeup and things like that. But um, I haven't really gotten into them because I don't know what they really do for me. I don't really see a drastic difference with staying power or anything like that. Only thing I see a difference is with staying power is if I use a primer. But this foundation stays put pretty nicely on its own, so I usually don't have to put a primer underneath. And then low key, I'd be forgetting. But anyway, so yeah, back to what I was saying. I'm going to a meeting with an agency that does a lot of commercials. Uh, because I want to do more commercials y'all I had so much fun doing that Colgate commercial like it was so dope like and it was so easy like I never realized how natural I am on camera which I mean it would make sense that I would be natural on camera because duh, I'm on YouTube and stuff but it's different like when you're um, you know like doing professional work like that that's a different ball game you know um, way different um, you know you've got people watching you and YouTube is like you know I'm in here by myself right now so it's not really you know I, I'm not really like shy or anything but a lot of people get shy in front of like actual cameras like really shy and um, I found out that that wasn't me when I was shooting the commercial like I just mixed um, this lighter liquid foundation this is in fair I mixed it with the extra bit of Makeup Forever I had left on my hand. This is in 53, color 53. I don't know, it doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a name, but it's 53 is the shade that I'm in. Well, the shade that I am when I'm not dark. But anyway, so yeah, so um, it was really fun. Uh, and so I wanna do more stuff like that if I can. So I'm gonna be meeting with them um, to see kind of like what well, really, to just meet them first off, because you kind of got to see if, you know, they like you. And that's when they'll start pitching you for different jobs and stuff like that. So, usually with commercial work, the brands, they don't do them themselves. They are hiring out a PR agency to, um, to basically do the project. And then they have, obviously, they have oversight. So, even when I was working with Colgate... I was really communicating with their PR agency more than I was actually communicating with them. So, um, so yeah, so that was uh, something that I realized. And another thing I realized, I was like, wow, like I don't know how people, because I don't know how people get into like commercial work and stuff um, in real life. <laughs> My situation was so random. Like literally, I got an email from them um like two weeks before they were shooting and they were like we really want you to see if you're interested in doing this project for an oral care brand and I was like an oral care brand I'm like what the heck what is this um and so I looked up the agency and I looked at the brands that they worked with and I saw Colgate on there and I was like oh my god like if you work with one brand like that, you don't work with another. Like there's, there was no chance that they'd be working with like Crest and Colgate. Um, that's not how it works. Uh, and so I was like, oh my gosh, like they're, they work for Colgate and this, I'd be working with Colgate. So I got on the phone with them and at first it didn't explicitly say that it was going to be a commercial. It just said a project and like a, it listed out like just things that they would expect me to do. And I was like, okay, I really don't understand what, what this is. Because at this point, I didn't have my new manager yet. This was back in February. And so I uh, re talked to them on the phone or whatever. And I was just like, hey, you know, I wanted to learn more about what you guys were looking for or whatever. And they told me what it was going to be. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like a commercial. And so... Even before I even got to the set, I didn't really know what to expect. And so it wasn't until I got to the set that I realized like the magnitude of the whole thing because I was just like, you know, I didn't know what to expect. So I didn't really like put any pressure on myself or anything about it. But 
um yeah so i got to the set and it was just awesome of course i was there with mariana hewitt and so and she's really sweet um honestly i had never heard of her before we got to the set um or really before i knew that we were doing the commercial together i'm using sorry y'all i'm using um brow wiz by anastasia beverly hills to fill in my brows um i just got them done the other day so they're pretty good i just need to fill them in just a little bit but yeah so uh met her she was really sweet and i got to talk to her a lot and get a lot of advice from her um because obviously she's like on such a high level of being a blogger and knowing you know her worth and all this stuff i mean she's easily making easily making six figure figures a year easily so i was like dang you know like what do you do and how do you do it and um she was really open and transparent with me about things and was very um helpful and just giving me some insight on like how she got started and like what um she does on a regular basis and all this stuff and we got to know each other a bit so that was really cool um it was nice to it was nice to get to know somebody in this beauty world that's not in like the natural hair scene or black beauty because i think for me i obviously i cater to multicultural slash black women and um it's you don't i don't get to really talk to other races who do beauty really so it was nice to talk to her she's still a woman of color but still she's in a different you know world low-key and so it was really cool to like talk to her and get to know her a bit more and learn from her and so that was cool and so after that um i just realized that you know like being on set and everything was just so fun and it was so easy like that's what i couldn't believe was how easy it was for me and mind you y'all like i may say it's easy but like when i talk to my friends or whatever about this stuff like and my parents they're just like how can you do that like i would be petrified i wouldn't know what to do and i was just like well i don't know it just was fun and i just you know i just like i don't know i don't let crowds bother me i've always um been in front of a lot of people and it, like public speaking has never been a fear of mine or anything like that so um it was cool being in front of all the big cameras and on set and stuff it was just really really cool and surreal i was just like wow like dang like how did i get here <laughs> like how did i get here because for the longest time i was like are y'all sure you want me in this like you want me in this commercial like y'all picked me are you sure that you want me and for a long time like when i first got the deal i was like super insecure because i was just like man like there's so many other people out there with more numbers than me and like you know whatever and i just don't understand why they picked me of all people and you know i had to stop saying that to myself okay i'm about to give y'all some major keys i just stopped saying to that to myself because at the end of the day the opportunity was mine whether i in my own flesh believed it god knew it was already mine and that's why i got it i was like i kept saying i was like it was nothing but god the reason why I got that opportunity because um, I didn't do anything to, to, to get it really. Like I was just like flabbergasted that they even reached out to me, let alone wanted to work with me and not just, you know, do little things, but actually represent their brand. Like they, I am a representation of Colgate, period. And so like to be on that level with a brand like that, it, it's just amazing. And I was like, you know what? It's nothing but God by the end of the day. Um, it was meant for me. It was meant for me whether I, you know, tried to judge other people and judge myself based on what I thought, you know, it doesn't that all that doesn't matter. It, it was my opportunity, whether um, regardless of anything else, you know, and so. It took me a second to like believe that but then I was just like why am I not believing that like why am I not believing that I'm great why am I not believing that I deserve these opportunities and that I can do a great job when I know I'm a great person and I know that you know I'm capable and like that's the whole thing is that I'm I know I'm capable but at the same time it's kind of like I didn't know I was capable you know like 
there's a difference between being confident in certain areas about yourself and then others you're like, ah, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I'm good. I'm going in with this darker um, foundation. It's deep bronze um, liquid of the Becca for um, contour. And so, yeah, so like, I was like, um, I don't know if I can do this. Like, I don't know if I'm like supposed to be this person who like, does commercials and I don't know what kind of person that is or what that means but in my mind I was just like is this really for me like I get to be this person and I had to tell myself I'm like yes yes you can like why not why not why can't that be you you know and I think like I just grew up always thinking that I should be you know I shouldn't like I shouldn't be proud of my looks I shouldn't be proud of my beauty I should be humble and I should you know, not talk about my looks and not, you know, do anything with them um, because I didn't want people to think that I was stuck up or that I thought I was full of myself or anything like that. And it's it's really, really easy for people to think that of me. You know, um, a lot of people, a lot of people would rather think badly of you than think that you're a good person, which is really unfortunate. But, you know, it is it is what it is. Um a lot of people would rather you be evil and conniving and stuck up and, you know, stereotypical than actually show you or show them that you're a nice person and you have a good heart. And um, I always, I don't know, my me thinking simplistically, I always try to, you know, dumb down my looks a little bit because I just didn't want people to think that I was like this stereotypical pretty girl I just did not want that and it took me a long 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 time to finally embrace the God everything that God's given me all of my gifts I'm not just intelligent I'm not just creative not just this but I'm also beautiful and I am made in his image so why not be happy and be glad in that you know like I don't have to be I don't have to shy away from my lips I don't have to be um, you know, whatever. I'm going in with MAC pressed powder. Sorry, I'm like randomly cutting off. Um, MAC sheer select or select sheer pressed powder in NC45. Oops, I just dropped my little thing. Um, I like this pressed powder for all over my face instead of, um, loose powder or other powders because I get cakey really easy and dry. Um, so I like using this. It's really lightweight on, on my skin. Um, but yeah, so I, um, yeah, so... Basically, I finally was just like, you know what, I'm going to, you know, live my life in a way that I'm proud of every aspect of myself and I'm not trying to, you know, dumb down anything or act like I'm not, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird complex. Does any of y'all feel like that? I don't know. Um, it might just be me and me being over, trying to overcompensate. Um, I, and I'm a very, very, very humble person. So I just am always thinking about that. I'm always thinking like, oh my gosh, am I being like, am I being like too this or too that right now? Like, am I being too much or whatever? Um, that's what I used to be like a lot. And I still think like that, you know, sometimes. But at the same time, I'm kind of at a point in my life where I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to be myself. And I'm going to do what makes me happy and not worry too much about what other people think of what other people say, you know, um, I'm just going to be me. Um, so yeah, that was a revelation that I had very recently. Um, and I'm proud of myself now, you know, I'm really happy and I'm proud and I'm excited about the future and all of that kind of stuff, you know? So it's, it's been, it's been a really, really deep journey for me the last few months. Um, Oh gosh, a lot has happened in the last like six months um, that has really shaped kind of like where I'm going moving forward. I mean, hell, even with the fact that I'm, you know, doing lipstick and curls full time now, which I'm just elated to be doing and I'm having so much success so early on. Um, it's just been absolutely fantastic the, the whole time, the absolute whole time. And it's just the beginning, you know? It's just, just the beginning. Oh, so I'm going in with this contour palette from um, LA Colors. I'm going in with this color right here. 
which is actually not even that dark on me anymore because I'm so tanned. You can hardly even see it, but my foundation has helped me contour enough, so it's pretty good. I think it's you can see it on the camera. It's good. It's good. I'm going to blunt it out really a little bit. But yeah. So now we're done with that. Done with brows. Um, I'm going to do some eyeshadow. I'm doing something really simple and like low maintenance. I don't want to do too much again because one thing is, you know, I like my natural face. I wouldn't wear makeup if I really didn't like doing makeup. I enjoy doing makeup, so that's why I wear it. But um, I really, I really like um just my natural skin and I, and i'm proud of that i'm proud to be happy in my own skin and um i feel like you know people people aren't happy in their own skin enough to where like when you do say that you're happy and to be who you are and you're like excited and proud of who you are people like take offense to it like because i'm saying that i'm proud of who i am that means that I'm saying that you suck. Like, no, that's not the equivalent. That doesn't, it's not a relative thing, you know? I can be incredibly proud of who I am as a person and you can still be who you are and it has nothing to do with you. Okay, so I'm going on my lid with um, Smarty Pants. Actually, I'm gonna do Sweetheart out of this Tartelet palette or whatever. Um, It's really not showing up too much on my skin which is what I want I don't want it to be like super pigmented because I'm going to just do some simple simpleness today but yeah so I just don't like that I don't like when people like because I know people are going to be on this video I feel like and they're going to be like oh you just think you're so this or that and that may be just my conscience trying to like you know tear my own self down which probably is a little bit of it honestly and I think we all have that little voice in us that tries to like tell us we're not good enough or tell us this or tell us that or whatever and it's just like no like you're great you're great um don't let anybody even yourself tell you that you're not I'm going in with jet setter inside my crease um yeah don't let people tell tell you that you're not awesome and you got to believe that you're awesome too though because if you don't believe it um nobody else really is which is not a good thing. You want people in your circle that are going to be your cheerleaders and like motivate you to be better and like all that kind of stuff. That's always a good thing to have in your circle. Nah, I don't want no eyeliner on top. I'm just going to do a really matted out lid. Which actually I'm going to go in with Flower Child. Whenever I do eye makeup, I never really know what I'm going to do. I just kind of like do it. And I hope for the best. Okay, so I'm going to add my lashes now. I'm wearing the Glamatory Lashes in Sparkle. These are so cute. Um, they're on the shorter end, but they look really natural on. So I like very lashy lashes. Um, I may end up adding a liner. I don't know. Probably not, though. <laughs> So my lashes are done. I am going to add a little bit of black liner, just like a thin layer on the top so that my lashes blend a little bit better. So now I'm going to add some white liner or nude liner on my bottom waterline to brighten my eyes up. This is like my favorite thing to do. All we have left is highlight, so I'm going to be... I'm going to use um, this, what is this, Prosecco Pop off of this um, Becca palette. They sent this to me, what, a few weeks ago? And I've been loving this Prosecco Pop because it's golden. So it's like perfect for the summertime for us girlies with some melanin in their skin. It's not going to give you that whitish or pearly look. It's going to give you like a golden glow which is really what I want in the summertime. I'm gonna do this Smashbox. Okay, so Smashbox sent me a bunch of these. I talked about these in my um, last video in my favorites, current favorites. This is the same one I had on in that video, which is uh, Misconduct. Okay, 
Okay, so now my makeup's done. I was gonna wear my hair down, um, but I kinda, I don't know. I might wear it like this. I might put it in like a cute little pineapple. I might do that. I might do that. I might look better and then just sleep my baby hairs down or whatever. But yeah, thanks for sitting and watching me. Get ready. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Until next time, guys, talk to you later. Bye.